Behold, the charcoal sachet. My secret, not so secret weapon for shading and blending. You see me use it a lot in my charcoal drawing videos. What is it? What do I use it for? And where can you get one? In this video, I'll be telling you more about it, and if you watch till the end, I'll show you a secret trick. Traditionally, when we're drawing something, we get our pencils, shade something in, then use our fingers, blender, or some other smudgy tools to blend in. This is a pretty time-consuming process. Now, when you're shading with a pencil, what you're actually doing is pushing graphite or charcoal into the fibers of the paper. And when you want to blend and use a blender, you're pushing even further, which makes it hard to erase. The worst one is using your finger. Now, since your finger has oils, it damages the paper. Oil mixed with charcoal ends up being difficult to erase and you're never gonna get pure white ever again. Highlights in the shadows just aren't gonna pop as they should and you can't move things around. What if I told you there was another way? And that way is the charcoal sachet. And yes, you guessed it, it's a, char it's a sachet filled with charcoal powder. But it's a lot more than that. It has a unique fabric that allows just the right amount of charcoal powder to be released. I've made one myself with a sock and charcoal powder. I used that one for years before finally getting this one from Edge Pro Gear. It's a bit pricey but has more precision and blends areas much better and you can grade a broader range of values than you would with the handmade charcoal powder with sock method. And when you buy one, it lasts forever. It's just a matter of refilling it with charcoal powder. Now if you want me to show you how to make your own in two very simple and easy ways, then be sure to subscribe, click on the bell icon, and like this video, and comment yes so I know you're interested. Now, what do I use it for? Well, unlike oil painting, where if you make a mistake, you can just wipe the paint or paint over it, charcoal isn't as forgiving, so it's crucial to maintain control of the surface. As we mentioned before, when shading with a pencil, you're pushing into the fibers of the paper. Now with the charcoal sachet, you're applying charcoal powder to the surface of the paper. So nothing is ever pushed into the fibers. If you make a mistake, you can erase it with ease. Now if you want to get highlights, you can erase a certain area to get the pure white of the paper back again. And those highlights really pop out and just glow. So when I'm in the early stages of a drawing, it's a back and forth process of finding proportions using the sachet. With just one instant dab, I have the shape of the eye. Then I use the eraser to move the shapes around until it's in the right spot. Now since the paper isn't being damaged, I have that freedom which is something that would be a long, the drawn out process with a pencil. Now this is the secret to my charcoal drawings, the ability to erase from shadows without worrying about anything at all. This really can't be done any other way. Think of it this way, with pencil, you're creating little lines and smudging it together to create depth. With the charcoal sachet, you're creating shapes. There are no lines in nature, just shapes. And generally, that's why I like working with charcoal, it's a lot more efficient once you learn how to control it and tolerate the mess. Now about that secret from earlier, let me show it to you. Firstly, you'll need charcoal powder. Now you dip the back end of the sachet into the powder and with that, you can create these cool painterly effects and strokes. This is how I create background work. And then I get my kneaded eraser, which goes hand in hand with the sachet to create these strokes and textures. So if you want to create a drawing or portrait on top of this, you can. Or if you want to, like I do, create one under it and then add all the cool stuff around it, you can do that as well. What I love about the kneaded eraser is it backs what charcoal is all about shapes right we're, we're creating shapes here so we can create different shapes to get different effects pretty cool right now where can you get the charcoal sachet you can get it on edgeprogear.com i've put a link in the description below now i'm not sponsored by edge pro gear i'm just i just like the product and thought i'd finally share it with you guys if you want me to show you how to make your own in two very simple and easy ways be sure to subscribe 
um, click on the bell icon, comment yes below and like this video. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'll see you soon.